Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So the drama just keeps on unfolding for Meghan and Harry and it looks as though it's going to be a terrible next few days for the couple. I really do strongly believe that Meghan and Harry are being punished now and they are getting their upcomings since they announced their new Oprah interview and they have all in one day lost their royal patronages and they are now being slammed and critiqued by many people. A lot of people are saying that this upcoming interview that they are going to be doing with Oprah Winfrey is tacky and it is definitely a downgrade from Prince Harry's birthright of being a royal. Being someone who is thought of in very high esteem and with class, grace and elegance. That's all been stripped away and now he is literally being treated as a D-list celebrity. We know that the newness and the shininess of the Meghan and Harry and Archwell Foundation brand is going to lose its luster and appeal very quickly, especially when they lose their HRH status at the beginning of March. That's when I think that the Queen is going to officially strip them of their HRH status. It's going to be at the beginning of March when their Mexit review will finally be concluded. And we know that the Queen's already gotten herself a head start with announcing to us today at 12 o'clock that Meghan and Harry are no longer going to be keeping their royal patronages over here in the UK because they're simply not here. So how can they truly serve the British public in any way, shape or form? So this article is by The Express and it is titled Meghan and Harry slammed for tacky Oprah interview amid fears of a royal reveal all. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been criticised for potentially delving into and revealing all about royal secrets in their wide ranging interview with Oprah. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's highly anticipated interview with Oprah Winfrey has been branded tacky by a former BBC royal correspondent. Jenny Bond told the BBC that the suggestion that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are going to reveal all and to delve into the depths of why they left is a bit tacky. The criticism came after Buckingham Palace confirmed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will not return as working members of the royal family. The Queen confirmed the couple would not continue with the responsibilities and duties that come with a life of public service. She has also stripped the pair of their titles, with Meghan and Harry forced to return all their honorary military appointments and royal patronages. Their departure follows conversations between Harry and senior members of the royal family. Next month, the couple are due to talk about their decision to step away from the monarchy in a bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. Jenny Bond said, we are told it is going to be wide ranging, that it will touch on why they left and how Meghan found the royal family. But if they are going to reveal all, as has been suggested, and to delve into the depths of why they left, that it is a bit tacky, isn't it? She questioned why they have decided to invade their own privacy by going to Oprah, adding, Lord only knows. Miss Bond continued, Harry and Meghan have won big time. They want to control their own media. They want their side of the story put out by them and their spokespeople, and they are not going to have any newspaper speculation or any invasion of privacy. The BBC newsreader responded, but is this dangerous for the royal family? This rupture, it allows Harry and Meghan to say whatever they want without any obligation to others. If things turn difficult, it could be risky. It could backfire for the royal family. Miss Bond said, it is a great loss that Meghan feels she cannot live this life, but we shouldn't see this as a rupture. It's simply in practical terms, not going to work for them to live their private lives on the other side of the Atlantic and then pop back occasionally for royal duties. She added that Harry's father, Prince Charles, has made it clear that if they needed financial help, it would be forthcoming, which we know, of course, Prince Charles has been supplying Meghan and Harry with a generous amount of money for their security for quite some time. He still is supplying them with money because we know that their security per year could estimate 
from a minimum range of 20 million pounds, which is a hell of a lot of money, and they still haven't signed that much in deals. They still haven't been paid out officially by Netflix because they haven't even started on the Netflix project. And it's quite interesting that they rushed to sign the Netflix deal and the Spotify deal with Megan now getting herself pregnant again. How can they really fulfill these expectations that they have placed on themselves or are they just having one big joyride on Prince Charles's cash because I certainly have not really seen much grafting or much hard work when I look into their private affairs they seem to have just been pretty much having a great time chilling out in that mansion getting dry and wet saunas and just relaxing you know, not really stressing or worrying about the future and trying to trade in on their real connections with as minimal effort possible. They haven't begun to start filming for their Netflix documentaries. They haven't released anything. So what exactly are we going to be seeing? And will this new child be exploited to the maximum? Will they sell all the pictures to Hello for money? I think they're more than likely going to go down that kind of self-exploitative, tacky kind of Z-list celebrity route. That's just my personal thoughts, feelings and opinions on this. But, you know, we have to wait and see. So I'm going to finish off a bit more of the article. It's coming to the end now. However, Miss Bond added, but they don't need it, do they? They are striking deals worth hundreds of millions of dollars, more money than we could ever dream of. A statement from the palace said that Prince Harry and Meghan remain much loved members of the family. The couple said service is universal and offered to continue supporting the organisations they have represented. So they said that they're going to offer to continue supporting the organisations, but really they can't support them. Meghan is on baby number two. They are cavorting with A-listers out in the United States of America. They're having a fantastic time. They're enjoying the mansion. Meghan has spent as much money as she possibly can. So how can they really support these people in the UK, us people in the UK with charitable ventures when really it's just been one big joyride from the beginning to the middle to the end. This interview is tacky, this interview is unnecessary. I personally feel as though they should not walk down this path and they shouldn't have done it. Not so soon since being in America. We're only just kind of getting an inch of normality back since the whole breakout of this global pandemic and for them to be hitting the ground running and running to sell all of their royal secrets to the likes of Oprah is really a self-exploitative and exploitative of the firm move it's it's a move that is very exploitative and I think it's very compromising but Meghan and Harry want the money. They always have wanted the money. They did not want to have any real royal responsibilities. They want to line their pockets, get paid, and continue to get financially independent. Even though we know that through the back door, Prince Charles is slinging them that good old cash from the bank of daddy. So, yeah. That's where I'm at with it. They are being branded as tacky. This interview is definitely tacky and it's definitely unnecessary. The Queen's hand really was forced on this one. She had to make an announcement before this interview went ahead just in case they said anything that was really, really indicative and bad about any other members of the royal firm, which we know Meghan Markle and Harry are fully capable of. They have been looking to wipe the floor with the royal firm for quite some time. So it doesn't really come as a surprise. There you have it. They are being slammed today and the stories will probably keep on coming in. And as they come in, I will deliver them to you guys on the channel. I'll be back with another video. Until next time, take care. Bye guys.